the Riviera travel tour of Madrid, Salamanca and Toledo. What would be my personal highlights? Well, in Madrid, I think it would have to be the Prado, one of the world's most extraordinary museums. And in the Prado, one of the world's most extraordinary paintings, Diego Velasquez's Las Meninas. What a thing it is. A portrait of a king, but a portrait like no other because it's painted in reverse so that what you see is what the king would have seen while he was having his portrait painted, including his painter, Velasquez. It's the world's first self-referential painting. It's extraordinary. It's like being trapped in a game of mirrors, endlessly fascinating. The trip also includes a visit to El Escorial, Philip II's great fortress of a palace from where he ruled one of the largest empires the world has ever seen. There's something rather chilling about it, but it's also magnificent and uh, an astonishing tribute to the piety of Philip II. The fact that he had his own bedroom in the palace, virtually on the altar of the main cathedral. If you open the window, as I was once allowed to do, of his bedroom, you see not a landscape beyond, no, you see the cathedral itself. He wanted to sleep, as it were, on the altar. He wanted to be close to God. And in Toledo, well, of course, Toledo for me is synonymous with El Greco, that strange hybrid of a painter who started his life in Greece, went to Italy and finished in Spain and somehow combined everything into a style completely unique, shot through with Greek Byzantine elements, but also fully in touch with the Renaissance. It should be a really rich trip.